Hello there, beautiful people, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Miss Danielle. Here on my channel, we talk about all things Jesus Christ. We have Bible study, words of encouragement, biblical teachings, prayers. If that's something you're interested in, make sure you hit the subscribe button and let's get right into the video. So, hello there, my beautiful people. Today's video is going to be a Bible study video. Now, look, we have Bible study live every Friday morning at 7 a.m. And i like to keep my bible studies really really simple so what i do is i read and i have the words behind me and you guys can follow along and then we'll you know fellowship on the word of god and talk to each other about what we learn so that's how this video is gonna go so let's get right into it first we're gonna pray and then we're gonna get right into the word of god dear heavenly father right now we thank you for this day lord we thank you for being with us and protecting us on this day we pray for those who have lost their lives or was injured in the chiefs parade today father god we ask, Lord, that you continue to protect us and watch over us. We pray for, like I said, everyone who has been hurt. We pray for their families, Lord. We pray you bless them and protect them and give them comfort during this time. We pray for healing, Lord, in our mind, body, and spirit. And we pray that we draw near to you on your word today. And, Lord, we just thank you, love you, and trust you. In Jesus' name, amen. So, let's get right into the video. Today, we are going to be looking at the book of Romans, chapter 3. So, let's begin. Romans chapter 3, God's faithfulness, what advantage then is there in being a Jew, or what value is there in circumcision? Much in every way. First of all, the Jews have been entrusted with the very words of God. What if some were unfaithful? Will their unfaithfulness nullify God's faithfulness? Not at all. Let God be true and every human being a liar, as it is written. So that you may be proved right when you speak and prevail when you judge. But if your unrighteousness brings out God's righteousness more clearly, what shall we say? That God is unjust in bringing his wrath on us? I am using a human argument. Certainly not. If there were some, how could God judge the world? Someone might argue. If my falsehood enhances God's trust trustfulness and so increases glory why am i still condemned as a sinner why not say as some slanderously claim that they that we say let us do evil that good may result their condemnation is just no one is righteous what shall we conclude then do we have any advantage not at all for we have all already made the the charge that that jews and gentiles alike are all under the power of sin as it is written there is no righteous, not even one. There is no one who understands. There is no one who seeks God. All have turned away. They have all together become worthless. There is no good who does good. There is no one who does good, not even one. Their throats are open graves. Their tongues practice deceit. Their poison of vipers is on their lips. Their mouths are full of cursing bitterness. Their feet are swift to shed blood. Ruin and misery mark their ways. And the way of peace they do not know. There is no fear of God before their eyes. Now we know that whatever the law says, it says to those who are under the law, so that every mouth may be silenced in the world, the whole world held accountable to God. Therefore, no one will be declared righteous in God's sight by the works of the law. Rather, through the law, we become conscious of our sin. <laughs> righteousness through faith. But now, apart from the law, the righteousness of God has been made known to which the law of the prophets testify the righteousness is given through faith in jesus christ to all who believe there is no difference between jew and gentile for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of god and all are justified freely by his grace through the redemption that came by christ jesus god presented christ as a sacrifice of atonement through the shedding of his blood to be received by faith he did this to demonstrate his righteousness because in his forbearance he had left the sins committed beforehand unpunished. He did it to demonstrate his righteousness at the present time. So as to be just and the one who justifies those who have faith in Jesus. Where then is boasting? It's it, it is included. Because of what law? The law that requires works? No. Because of the law that requires faith. For we maintain that a person is justified by faith apart from the works of the law. Or is God the God of the Jews only? Is he not the God of the Gentiles too? Yes, of the Gentiles too. 
since there is only one God who will justify the circumcised by faith and the uncircumcised through the same faith, do we then nullify the law by this faith? Not at all. Rather, we uphold the law. So, some questions I want to ask you are, is God speaking to you in this present chapter? If he is, what is he saying to you? Did you learn anything new? Do you have a new perspective on something? Did anything in this chapter stand out to you as far as like a particular word or a verse? Answer these questions right now. So, this chapter was interesting to me. Um, You know, it was talking about our faith and our works and, you know, what is just and what is unrighteous as far as like what God says these things are. Um... <laughs> I think this chapter was very interesting because, like I said, it's giving a whole new perspective on things that we may have a certain thought towards. But, like, you know, God has an idea of how things should go. And a particular verse that actually stood out to me was verse 23, which says... For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So again, we're all sinners. And it was like, it don't matter if you are a Jew or a Gentile or whatever. Um, you know, the righteousness is given through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe. There is no difference between like what you are as far as like your skin tone and your skin color. Also, verse 25 stood out to me. It says, God presented Christ as a sacrifice of atonement. Through the shedding of his blood to be received by faith. He did this to demonstrate his righteousness. Because in his forbearance he had left the sins committed beforehand and punished. So again, you know, God gave us Christ, his son, Jesus. And uh, Jesus was a sacrifice. Um, and the shedding of his blood. When he died, when they killed him, when they crucified him. Um... That was supposed to be received by us, our faith. Like, because God sent his son and he died, we were supposed to receive that with faith. Um, some, Like I said, some people, they have a hard time believing that, you know, God is God. Jesus is Jesus, you know. But it says, like I said, to those who believe in verse 22, it says... He was given through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe. So it's important that if you believe in God jesus christ his son it's important that you really understand what that means you know because like this world has so many distractions and stuff in it sometimes it can be hard to really understand things for what they are because like you're always doing this always doing that got this to do got that to do like I, that's why i say like it's important that when we have our days to take some time to spend with god just quiet time it don't even have to be you talking, journaling. It don't have to be all that all the time. Like sometimes it can just be quiet time because God may want to speak to you and give you a better understanding of something. Um, and yeah, I just think that's really important. Also in this chapter, I took some notes on it. It was talking about, I said it was talking about how we are all sinners, of course. Um, and then it talked about the the types of the people in this chapter. It talked about how they were cursing. They had bitterness and destruction and misery. And, um, you know, they didn't really fear God like they were supposed to, like I said. And, you know, they all fell short of the glory of God like we all do. Um, I think that's important to understand that. You know, we've all fallen short of the glory of God. So it, we can't judge someone like I'm better than you or you're better than me or she's better than you or he's better than you because we all fell short. Um, and that's why it's important that we repent of our sins, ask for forgiveness. And when we repent, it's important that we do a 180. Not a 360, but a 180 because God is giving us a chance every day. Like every day we wake up, every day that... We are here every day you wake up and you breathe air in your, your body. It's another chance for you to get it right. And that's how I look at life. Like every day that I, I'm I'm alive, I'm trying to do better. I'm trying to overcome. I'm trying to forgive. I'm trying to just become the woman that God wants me to be. Um, and I'm trying to do that by any means necessary. Like the way God sees me and what God wants for me is the top priority of my life. 
and in order for me to get there i have to continue to focus on him you know get to know him give him time and like i said examine myself and forgive myself for everything i've done and things that other have others have done to me you know it's important to me that i'm becoming all that i'm supposed to be so i definitely have fallen short of the glory of god and i can really like say that with no pride or anything like that because i'm human and it also was talking about how we was all human beings like it's so true you know so that chapter was really really interesting and it, it gave me some insight um but yeah like i said the biggest part was we all fell short of the glory of god and it, when it was talking about how god gave christ his son for us to believe you know it's for our faith um and he, the way that we supposed to do that is because he shed his blood like he really died you know like that's so deep and you know jesus knew he was gonna die and that, that had to be a scary thing like to know that i'm gonna have to go through this for for people to believe that's so deep to me um but i yeah y'all know i know something i really love god with all my heart like the relationship i have with god jesus christ like it's just so deep because like he's really my best friend it's so much that god has done for me in my life and so many things i've overcome um i just love him wholeheartedly that's why i'm so happy to be doing my kingdom work and helping other people grow closer to him and i just i look at it as such a blessing because like i i, I was saying like I try to do it my way, but now I'm doing it God's way. And it just feels so good to be doing my kingdom work. So, I'm so happy. Um, I pray that this Bible study blessed you in some type of way. Um, I love you. God bless you. Don't forget to tune in again next Friday because we're here every Friday morning. And share this video with anyone you know. And, yeah, I love you guys so much. And I will see you next time.